This is Scott Becker with the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Today's discussion, and we try each day to teach and entertain and hope that I'm learning something, hope you're learning something, that we're learning together. Today's discussion is about a phrase that we used to use in business about closers and warrior closers. Warrior closers were those that could see something in front of them and actually put aside all distractions and get whatever it is, whatever deal it is, whatever project it is, whatever event it is, closed down correctly so, so that, that it moved through in the right way. We talk about this in baseball. The greatest closer of all time is Mariano Rivera, the, the famous Yankees closer. They had a famous walk-off song for him. I can't remember it that well. One of the great closers of all time. In business, just as important. It's not just closing negotiations and closing a sale. It's basically saying, I got these 10 deals going, but this one is on the precipice of getting closed. So I got to put all resources to closing this deal now and avoid all distractions, put aside the ideas, new ideas for this point, and really focus on the core thing at hand that needs to be closed. This ability to really focus, to really discipline oneself, to put all efforts in a tunnel vision type of way in one place and go after it with greatness is one of the great qualities we see with people in business that can avoid distraction. And for many of us, it is a lot of work to do so. You know, one more stop at Starbucks, one more stop over uh, to do whatever one is doing today, whatever it is, whatever the distractions are, how do you keep yourself focused to keep on coming back to that core task, that core business deal, that core event coming up, whenever it is that has to be closed out and not have yourself mentally and physically all over the place. This is a key thing because not only for oneself, but in running teams, if you're running teams and you want to get the whole team running in the same direction, whether it's a team of five or a team of 1000, they have to see clarity that this is what we're trying to do this quarter. This is what we're trying to close this day. That ability to close and put aside distractions is one of the great qualities of leaders and winners in business not just for oneself, but for one's team and one organiz- one's organizations. To be clear, this is what we're trying to close. This is what we're trying to get done. This is what we're trying to finish. This is an uncelebrated, critical quality. Uh, I remember my younger self being so great at being able to put all the distractions aside and just focus on closing that deal that was teed up to be closed. And, and I think there's lessons for us and constantly reminding ourselves of those lessons at all times in, in everything we do. That warrior closure mentality. I don't mean closing a sale, a negotiation. I mean closing down what has to be closed down like Mariano Rivera used to close down other teams. Some of our best colleagues are great at closing things out, whether it's an event on Sunday that's got to run perfectly so all eyes have to be on that prize or or whatever it is that you're doing whether it's Caleb Williams focusing on the Bears prep for his game next week so he is great whatever it might be uh you know Mick Jagger getting ready to put all eyes on the most uh, most the upcoming concert even though he's 80 80 years old and does it better than the rest of us that that ability to really focus on what has to be done not be distracted, not encar- not encourage new ideas at this time. New ideas are great, but not at every moment. And be able to have that warrior closure mentality. Our shout out today, our hats off goes today to those people that have that ability to close things down and get them done. Thank you for listening to the Becker Private Equity and Business Podcast. Thank you.